Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten with Partners in Technology. I'm going to show you how to add an image to a form. You'll be able to use this for a purchase order form, sales order form, invoices, pick sheets, any type of form within Sage. I'm going to show you using a sales order form. I've gone into sales order entry and I've done a quick print uh, for, the, for the order. What I like to do is cr when I create custom forms, I like to create a new form code. I'm just going to call this ABC because that's the name of my company. And I'm going to select a plain form rather than some of the um, pre-pinted uh, laser or using the marble. I happen to prefer uh, plain. But certainly you'll want to test it out on other uh, form types besides plain. If you have Crystal Reports installed on your workstation and your role allows you to access Crystal Reports, you're going to see a designer button up in the top corner. When I click on this, this is going to launch uh, Crystal Reports. I do get this little message. Um, it happens every time, but it's no problem. And this is what my form looks like. I'm going to come up to my top menu. I'm going to come to Picture. And it's going to allow me to browse to the location where my image is stored. I happen to have stored this on my desktop to make it easy to retrieve. And I'm going to click this, click on Open. And here, I'm just dragging it into the place that I would like to have my logo. Now, there's a few things that I've just done. I've put this on top of another field, so I'm going to make sure I resize that uh, field. so the whole thing will show up when it prints. This happens to be my order title, the fact that it's a standard or a repeating or master. This is what that formula is. I also happen to know that I've put this pr pretty tight up against the company address block, so I'm going to pull this down just a little bit to get a little bit more space in between the logo and my address block. I'm going to click on my Save button, exit out, and then let's see what it looks like. Here's my preview. Here's my logo. Um, one thing I should have showed you, when I was in there, I could resize the logo uh, by clicking on the corner of the logo, and I'd be able to have a little arrow there that would allow me to make it either smaller or larger. Of course, by clicking on the inside of the logo, and I have a four-way arrow, I can drag it to any area that I want in the, um, on the form. Hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. If you liked this video, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, every time we post something new, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.